Is this thing on? Good. It's me again. I just came from France. I traveled and I got this call that there's some kind of velociraptor project going on in America and I, ju I just had to go. I went behind the scenes and I saw some really, really strange surroundings. I think track has arrived on site and I think that, I don't know, I think something's going on, something incredible's going on. There's this company, there's this company that have been arrived on site called Intamin. I'm not sure what Intamin stands for, but I know it's something terrifying. You need to listen to me. Stay tuned, because my friend Coaster Child is going to give you an update on this coaster. It's been a while, but he's going to update you on this coaster. And if you look at the end of the video, if this makes it out alive, we have a special playlist for all the videos that we've done on this project. I've been recently assigned to this project, just like the Negro Land project, but I just, it's hard to handle. So I'm giving Coaster Gel this one. I can't handle it. I need to go. You stay tuned for an update and you stay listening at all times. I gotta go. Hello there, guys. My name is. Wait, hang on, hang on. What am I doing with sunglasses on? Aguero! Hello there, guys. My name is Coach Chad Longster, one but built for theme park news, and welcome to a theme park news update where today. We're going to be talking about the Velocicoaster, the project going on at Universal Islands of Adventure in Orlando, Florida. Construction is still progressing on the site. It's been a while since we've done an update on this coaster, and I thought, you know what, now's the right time to continue doing an update. And so much track has appeared on site, so much has been constructed. Even now, as I'm talking, they're constructing this project. Uh, so it's very, very interesting construction. We're going to talk about all what's been going on. We're going to share with you a photo that I found on Reddit. I don't know who you are that posted on Reddit, but massive shout out and credit goes to you for the image. All 100% credit goes to the person who put it on Reddit this image this construction image now this image was taken on saturday uh this past saturday however more construction has happened so i'm going to talk you through the other construction steps and also other places where you can find the latest construction images so please like comment subscribe click notification bell so you never miss a youtube video please share with your friends your family and on social media and make sure you keep getting your questions in for our next q a use the hashtag question before or after your question for when we celebrate 2000 subscribers when we hit that milestone and for now guys i think i need to get rid of these sunglasses permanently and let's get into this video so let's talk about the latest construction then on this project. So, if you don't know already, if you're new to the channel, you've got no idea what I'm talking about, Islands of Adventure is the sister island park to Universal Studios Orlando, Florida. It's part of the whole Universal Studios Resort in Florida. You've got Universal Orlando, you've got the brand new park coming in 2023, could be 2024 with this COVID pandemic, but Universal's Epic Universe, in fact, I believe Epic Universe has been delayed till 2024. Yeah, I do believe that. Uh, so they've delayed construction on Epic Universe, so they're not constructing it at the minute because of this whole pandemic, so that'll probably be delayed another year. Uh, however, you've got those two parks and then you've got the other park next to Orlando and it's going to be a few miles away from from the new epic universe and that is Island of Adventure. Now this park is home to some fantastic attractions most recently Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure which is an Intamin family launch SFX drop coaster uh, themed around the Harry Potter world. It replaced the two B&M dueling inverted coasters dueling dragons of course used to be known as Dragon Challenge uh, and of course uh, we've got this new Hagrid's coaster now as a two-for-one deal we've got Velocicoaster which is a brand new uh, Intamin blitz style launch coaster um, multi-launch coaster the set to be going down it's got load it's got loads of elements animatronics theming landscaping loads of different effects going off 
at some points during the ride as well and some fantastic thrilling elements. Now we're going to share with you the Reddit construction image from last Saturday on your screen now. Find up a dozy. Again, credit goes to whoever was in charge of that image or posting that image on Reddit, the old friends at Reddit. Uh, but let's talk to you guys about the latest construction. Now the construction on this project has been moving rapidly. Now as early as Friday or going into uh, the weekend, uh, we had loads of construction and then of course yesterday in fact we had loads of construction going off yesterday now if you look on twitter for a profile called at views and cues uh, a guy called brian big shout out to you uh he posted on twitter some pictures of the reopening of the raptor encounter with the park and while he was down there there was a picture of some turns on this new velocicoaster construction now first of all i want to say from the reopening of raptor encounter and what i've seen it looks like they're going more along the jurassic world route uh so maybe the whole of the jurassic park section could get an overhaul to look more like jurassic world especially with how far far away from Jurassic Park and more towards Jurassic World the new Raptor Encounter looks. Now of course obviously this new coaster is replacing the old Raptor Encounter and things like that and they've removed a couple of stuff as well. The Triceratops I believe is re removed somewhere else as well uh, but this whole coaster is going in this huge plot of land uh, where the old encounters used to be and they're just plotting this coaster right there and the new raptor encounter looks very refreshed it looks unique but if you look on twitter you see some turn pictures from yesterday and you know one of the turns has like a it like, in, like an inversion going into one of the turns but then it interacts with the turn in front of it so there's gonna be some really nice dueling elements for multiple trains if this set if this is set to have uh you know multiple trains uh and then we go into uh, other construction updates where footers were there. Uh, I could see some track over the Jurassic Park black and white fence. Um, the Jurassic World like dome entrance with the coaster right next to it looks fantastic. Um, and then we moved into uh, more pictures where, again, views and cues on twi Twitter, uh, adding some more construction pictures. And then, my friends we go into today where we sort of discussed on the on a forum about how it's going to look more Jurassic World rather than Jurassic Park but you know most recently you know all this construction has been happening and we can pretty much safe to say that I think at least a quarter maybe nearly half of the track has been completed for this ride uh, from the pitch that we've seen from yesterday uh, So again, I want to give a massive shout out to views and cues for posting them on Twitter You can go and check them out. I'm not going to put them on here uh, But I want you to check out their Twitter account follow Brian on Twitter Because uh, he posted some excellent looking pictures I want you to go and look at all the forums Coast Force forum any other forum in Orlando or around the world talking about this Go and check all of them out because they've got some more updates as well uh, and of course, like I said, big shout out to the person with the Reddit construction image back on Saturday. So that was on Saturday. And then you look at the construction images now. What a beast it looks. What a beast of a coaster it looks. And I think this is going to be arguably the best coaster project of 2021. Now 2021, I see 2021, and I've said this in the past. I see 2021 as the aftermath of a 2020 fallout obviously with COVID-19 affecting the 2020 season some parks aren't even opening even if it's safe to do so they're not even opening for specific reasons so you know some parks have called off their 2020 season completely projects have been delayed till next year uh in the UK in Europe in America in you know and you know other places as well so you know there's a real I think 2021 is bigger than it already was uh, and you look at all the projects delayed from 2020 that's set to be opening in 2021 uh, especially in the UK and then you look around the world at the 2021 projects that were originally going to happen anyway what a lineup you, you, you put that all together what a lineup and you've got this Velocicoaster which like I said in my opinion looks like the best project arguably of 2021 and in my opinion arguably the best themed coaster in a good few years right on the like length of uh, Hagrid in the same park so Islands of Adventure really are going on the themed experience route especially with their roller coasters um, and Hagrid being a big example recently and of course the next big example 
will be Velocicoaster. Now, I really, really, really want to go out to Orlando at some point and ride this uh, after it opens in 2021. I don't think I'll be there for the opening year. I don't think I'll be there, definitely. Uh, but... You know, at some point in the next few years, I would love to go and experience this coaster in Orlando. It would be a dream coaster of mine from the looks of the construction, from what could be the finished product. Obviously, Universal Lands of Adventure is still yet to officially announce this project. However, we can tell from construction, we know what's happening. We saw the trademark for the name Velocicoaster in months, months ago, months and months ago. Uh, we saw the Intamin track on site now, we've seen the support, we know it's going to be an Intamin multi-launch, we know it's going to be probably called Velocicoaster, or pretty much all but confirmed to be called Velocicoaster, and, you know, we've got this sort of, uh, this sort of excitement building, and I think that's good to get that excitement building, especially with the, the drought of 2020, um, it's good to get that excitement back up in again, and this brings back up the excitement in people, so, you know, Velocicoaster, Looks like a fantastic project. Cannot wait to view more on this. But thank you guys so, so much for watching this construction update on Velocicoaster at Islands of Adventure. Please like, comment, subscribe for more videos. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chal. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.